Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's get started on this week's video. I like to use this wax paper underneath my wood blocks because if I don't, whatever I glue my project on, it will stick to it. I've been using this wood glue for years and it pairs really well with these wood blocks. The only thing I suggest is to always wipe the excess glue off. How I'm gluing my wood blocks together may seem a bit complicated, but I'm just gluing multiple rows of one block, two, three, four, and five. The easier way to glue these together would be to glue 26 blocks going down like this, and then glue the rest like this. I used one box of wood blocks for each decor piece, so that's a total of 144 wood blocks. I like pairing these rectangular mirror tiles with these blocks, but if you want to keep it all Dollar Tree, you can simply use these disco tiles. These are self-adhesive, but if you are going to recreate this, then you want to make sure you pair it with a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. I'm literally just placing these anywhere and once I'm done, I'm going to clean all my mirror tiles off and then show y'all the final look. I've been wanting corner wall decor and I thought this would be a perfect piece since it can be used in multiple ways. This is simply beautiful. It looks like a downtown but comment below and let me know what y'all think. For project number two, I'm just gluing together multiple rows of five blocks, four blocks, three blocks, and two blocks. I made a total of six pieces with five blocks, four, three, two, and here's the single ones. So now I'm gluing them on top of one another, starting in order from five all the way down to one. I'm making sure I wipe off the excess glue, and as y'all can see, I went on ahead and glued the other pieces together. So now I'm just gluing all of these on top of one another. I lost the footage of me gluing these together, but I'm going to glue these into a square and this is the back side, so this will be facing inwards. I ended up adding a little hot glue so my square can stay intact. I'm gluing these eight pieces together, then I'm going to glue them inside my square. Here. 
Now I'm painting both pieces black with that same black acrylic paint that I use for project number one. Now it's time to decorate and I'm decorating the majority of this piece with these small disco towels. I'm just placing one strip along the entire inside top border. I'm using the entire sheet of these disco towels for the front and the sides and I will not be covering the back because the back side will not be showing. I'm leaving this as is and I'm just going to insert my light and then attach the bottom piece to my lampshade and then I will be right back to show y'all the final look. This lamp is absolutely stunning although it was a little time consuming but patience is key. Comment below which project was your favorite and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you could be notified when I upload a new video.